congratulations on winning the Valvoline Street Machine of the Year for 2015. Thanks, mate. Did you? Were you surprised to even be nominated? I was. I was very surprised. I was uh, at work and Dad called me and was like, uh, you checked your phone yet? And I'm like, no, I'll have a look now. And he sent me a picture out of the Street Machine magazine with, uh, yeah, me as being nominated. And yeah, that was pretty cool. I was pretty surprised with that. Hmm. One of 16 cars Yeah. that we choose and then the readers vote on their favourite car and the most amount of readers voted for you. Yeah. So you're su obviously, if you're surprised just to be nominated, you must have been stunned when, when you walked in the door today and uh, we were all there with your yeah. check. Yeah, I was. I walked in and I was just like, crazy, you know? <laughs> Didn't expect to win it, so. And how did, uh, how did Dad sort it out so that you got a, got a surprise? He called me during the week and it was very well planned that he wanted me here at 2 o'clock on Sunday to uh, put some uh, roller rockers into his car. <laughs> and, um, did yeah. that make you suspicious? Oh, a little bit. I was like, oh, must have something planned or something like that. But when I walked in this afternoon and uh, everyone was sitting at the table, I'm like, oh, something's going on here. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, walked into the garage and yeah, everyone was here that helped with the car and the street machine was in there. So so how old were you when you uh, first got the U? I was about 12 years old wow. when I got it. Um, yeah. Was that a planned thing or...? Yeah, I always wanted one. Dad had his HR and I was always like, I want a HR ute, you know, the same, but I want a ute. And um, sure enough, we found one and bought it and just tinkered with it for a little bit. It was just going to be, you know, just a street car with a six in it, like a 186 or whatever. And um, then as I got older, yeah, <laughs> the plans were like, oh, we'll just throw that to the tip. And next minute I had an RB half cut sitting here and yeah, went from there and then it got a bit out of hand, so. Yeah, right. But it was all done here. In yeah, the it family was, shed. It was. It was all done here. It went away and got painted, and uh, come back and the trim was done in a shop as well. But it was pretty much finished off here. So how did you decide to put a Nissan motor in a, in the hold? That's pretty controversial. Yeah, well, you know, just as it's getting older, and you know, friends had skylines and stuff like that. And they went really well, so I was like, you know, I want to make it go well as well, and beat Dad's car as well. <laughs> in the meantime, so yep. uh, yeah, went with that, and then just bolted on all the good bits, and yeah, it makes decent power. So. Was it a difficult conversion? It wasn't too bad. Um, still retained the you know um, standard drag link steering and stuff like that. Just had to put a gearbox tunnel in it because of the automatic, and that was virtually it with the body modifications. Mm. So it bolted in pretty well. Yeah, bolted in nicely. Steve, you're a HR man from way back. Long time, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You go back to before Summonettes? To the sixth Street Machine Nationals. Yeah, right. I had a car at the seventh Street Machine Nationals, mm -hmm. and then it went on to the Summonats in '88. Yeah, right. Yeah, and the car that I've got today. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you're involved with the Summonats. We are you, as yeah. a scrutineer. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, right. Have and done for every every year. So, yeah. And the uh, the sedan that's in the shed there. How long have you had that? I bought that in 1986. Right. Yeah. As a, as a project, it was we drove it around for a little while. I took it off the road about 1990. Got married in 1990. Car went on the back burner as it does. Um, spent the next seven years you know, slowly working on the car. Nathan came along in 92, I think it was. Um, the car was painted at that stage and then we just basically finished it off, got it on the road in 97 and we've been enjoying it ever since. So Nathan's really grown up around modified old holders? He has, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Not a bad way to grow up. No, it's good. And now, the car, since the car's been on the road, it's uh, you've done the sort of show circuit. Sort of what are your major things you've done with the car? Uh, I've taken it to the HDHR Nationals uh, two years now, I think yep. it was, yeah. So we went down to Mildura in Victoria. That was its first show. We uh, finished it for that show. I uh, went down there and um, took out, you know, um, highly modified HR and grand champion of the show. Um, been down to South Coast Nationals, Summonats, where we made top 60. Um, yeah, been up to Warwick this year for the HD HR Nationals and uh, took out, yeah, HR, highly modified there as well. Wow. And, yeah. So it's done pretty, pretty well for a car that was built in the shed? Yeah, it's um, yeah, well received car. Everyone yeah. sort of, you know, walks past it, then walks back and goes, hang on a second, you know, they have a closer look and realise what's done to it. Because mm -hmm. um, on the outside, you know, it's just a HRU that's red with a set of 15 inch billets on it. And yeah, 
doesn't stand out too much. <laughs> but I've got a fair bit of horsepower. Yeah, yeah, it makes about 300 kilowatts. So it's good in an old holding ute. <laughs> that would be terrifying, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> now that the sort of the show career is sort of done, Dustin, you've won your awards. Is it starting to see some street time? Yeah, I've taken it to work a few times, you know, drive it to a few local car shows and stuff. Try not to drive it too far, you know, basically gets damaged. But <laughs> um, yeah, it's got nearly a thousand Ks on it now since it's been finished, which is good. Mm. And yeah, I'll be driving it a bit more now that it's done its show scene, but I'll still be taking it to, you know, shows around the place, so. And you've, uh, understand you've turned your hobby into your work now? Yeah, yeah, we, um, about four months ago, me and two of my friends opened up a shop in Canberra, where we, it's just a, like a mechanical workshop, but we also do a lot of performance stuff there. Um, and yeah, that's going well, so it's doing your hobby as your job now. And what's it called? On Point Performance right. in Fishwick. You hear, heard it here first, folks? <laughs> All right, and you'll be at Summer Nats 29 this year? I will be, yep. Fantastic. You gonna go for Grand Champion? Oh, I'll put it in Elite and see what happens. <laughs> so, have a go at it anyway. Have a go. That's it, just drive the wheels off Got it. Got the local support. Tell us who's uh, been involved in getting the car to where it is now. Yeah, um, Aaron O'Brien painted it. Um, Liz Simpson uh, did the timber tray in the back. And um, Josh Gross did the trim in the interior. Mm. The trim is a bit of a highlight. Yeah, it was, um, yeah, I wanted the trim to look nice, so, yeah, it just went all out in there. Yep, fake floor and... Yep, fake floor. All that stuff. Yeah. Kept the bench seat and standard steering wheel just to keep that bit of an era to it and putting bucket seats in it or something like mm. that. What's next? Are you going to complete the set? We've purchased a panel van. Ah. It's a 66 panel, windowless panel van, mm -hmm. which uh, we'll probably pick up towards the end of this year. Mm -hmm and uh, probably spend the next 12 months on that. That'll, that'll be a driver, a 100% driver, but, uh, and then we'll be looking at a wagon as well. Com we'll complete the set. Awesome. So that'll, that'll actually make five HRs that we'll have, because we do have another ute, which is a bit of a, a bit of a ratter, you might say. Yeah, right. Yeah. So can we expect murals and a, and a uh, spa bath in the back and some, <laughs> a, a disco mirror? Talk to the financial controller on that one because oh. that'll be hers. Oh, it's, oh, it's <laughs> Karen's car. It is, yes. Oh, very it's cool. For her, keeping it in the family. Very good. Yeah, she's been very supportive, obviously, with building two cars. It's yep. time to give back to to her. Fantastic. Yeah.